all right all right what's going on people um really quickly it's gonna be a really 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 quick tutorial it's gonna be one take i don't have time to edit this so hopefully um you can follow along as i go through this so as you see on the screen how to separate roadcaster pro inputs in obs uh, to get the most out of your roadcaster pro especially for recording in multi-channel or multi-track mode now this is really helpful in adobe premiere and any other um daw software that you use so if you want to separate the stuff out you don't want to do it in video you want to separate into different channels i think this is really helpful i've been trying to figure this out for months and it finally clicked in my head when i saw a video by epos fox i'm gonna link the video in the description below and i think alpha gaming did something similar as well so as you can see on screen i'm going to bring up my center screen here do 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 so you can see what I'm looking at in OBS. Now, I am too lazy to go in here, let me take my title off, and create a whole new scene. So we're just gonna have to work, work with it. Now, some of my inputs, now this is assuming you already have your audio set up. Um, I don't have time right now to go through it, but I wanted to put this video out there before I forget. So assuming you have all your audio set up and you have a Rodecaster Pro, it's in multi-track mode, and you have everything set up the way you like it, you need to go to um, AI, ASIO for all, that website, you can search it uh, and find it, but I'll link it in the description, as well as the OBS plugin for you and using ASIO drivers. Now, once you install both of those, then you can come down to your sources, hit the plus sign, click on ASIO input catcher, capture, notice like these they, they kind of look similar so I, I kept getting confused and clicking the wrong one now i already have a few of these set up already so i'm gonna go ahead and create a new one now you can do this for each set of inputs on your roadcaster or you can just um, use one for both or for two different items but notice that up here in the device section it says you know it'll say asio for all okay you want to click on that one now, if you want to change to make sure your Rodecaster Pro is uh is working, you click on the control panel. It'll bring up the ASIO for all interface. Now, you want to make sure that both of these items here are clicked. Now, this may work the same way for any other mixer and so forth. Uh, it would show up in this list, and you got to make sure that both of these options are clicked. I don't know why it just works. Okay, just so just trust me on that one. Whether you're using the uh, what's the other one um go xlr it may do the same thing if it outputs a mix in the separate inputs over usb <coughs> so once we make sure these two are clicked we're going to close that and then we're going to select our inputs but before that i'm going to close this for a second and i'm going to bring up a hmm i have a small picture here which i've also written out in the description of the inputs on your roadcaster pro so let me throw that up there turn off my center screen so you can see it so looking at this these are all your inputs now i got this out of a guide for adobe premiere off roadcasters off of Rhodes website where it shows you how to set up um your inputs for multi-track recording notice i highlighted the mics for uh the mic first microphone because normally that's going to be the one you use the most all right, so now that we got that there, that's going to be in the description, so you don't have to keep fumbling around looking for it. I'm going to close that out and bring back up my screen. All right, so going back to our audio capture here, the ASIO input, select AISO for all. ASI, <laughs> I keep getting messed, mixed up, so forgive me for that. Now, channel one. We're going to set that to one of our inputs, okay? Ignore these first two because they go to the uh, RTX driver. Pro Multi Channel 1 and 2, I believe, is your stereo mix out, so you don't want those. So we're going to go straight to microphone. Now, if we want our microphone to come out of both sides, it's going to be mono going in, but we want it to come out of both sides of the headphones for our listeners. And we select it for channel 2, you know, left and right, if you want to do it that way. And then we click OK. All right. Why are you not working now? OK. Control panel. Both of those are on. Now. 
We hit OK. Now this should light up. Make sure I got that set properly. Change options again. It was just working a minute ago. This is ridiculous. Pro multi channel three. Pro multi channel three. Hit OK. Why are you not working? It's not lighting up now. Okay. Let me delete that one. Sometimes the driver can be a little finicky. So I'm going to delete it and start over. But once you get it working, it is working. And now this, this may be because I have a setup on a different scene. And it may not let me add it again. So let's try, let's go to our sound pads. Little trial and error on the fly. We're going to hit OK. So we're going to hit one of our sound pads. And there you go. So I'm talking. Sound pad is going off. And you can see the meter light up as well. So let's go in here and try to add this microphone again. May not work because I'm using the microphone currently. But the drivers do work. I may have to go in and delete this one microphone. Or switch, switch my microphone to a different slot, slot just to make it work. work. And, and there, there we go. go. So that is three. You can see that both microphones are working now. It, it, it can be a little finicky like I said before, but let me mute this one so you don't need to double speak. Now everything's coming directly out of the roadcaster into that one channel. So there you go. So if you wanted to do this, let's say for your Bluetooth, you can do the same thing for your Bluetooth. The TRS, which is the cable coming out of a phone. So if you're doing a Zoom call, you got a phone call, or you got a, uh, uh, you got, excuse me, I think that was my wife in the background. So if you got anything going on in your background, <laughs> I suggest using the RTX voice as well. Um, so if you got your Bluetooth, you got a phone call coming in, you're doing an interview, you don't want to show the people's faces on screen, this is a great way to separate out the audio, and then you come down here to your settings, well, not these settings, in your advanced audio settings, you can assign all those different channels. So when you go to edit them in Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, whatever whatever DAW that you're using, I want advanced audio properties. So whatever DAW that you're using, you can assign them different channels. So as you can see, they all show up in the drop down list as separate inputs. But that is one way you can use your Rodecaster Pro to its fullest potential, all while doing everything else but I, I i love it you know roadcaster pro is probably one of the best pieces of audio equipment i've i've bought in a long time um like this is me without any editing or anything like that this is just my voice okay but it to me it sounds great i'm using an akg microphone I got the akg headphones and as well i'm filming this on a panasonic v180 so hopefully everything looks pretty good so hopefully this helps you out I can't go into all the different things that you can do. Turn that down a little bit. I can't go into all the different things you can do, but maybe this gives you some headway into how to separate your inputs for other reasons. Cause like my biggest thing was I didn't want anything to come out of the same. I didn't want everything coming out the same channel as a stereo mix. Maybe I wanted the sound effects louder. Maybe I wanted the voices to be separate so you can make that distinction instead of being mixed together all the, all ready by the software. So. It's up to you, but hopefully this helps some people out. You know, thank you for stopping by. This is the first tutorial I've done, by the way. So hopefully I did a good job. I was a little nervous trying to film this in one shot because I got to go somewhere here in a minute. And I didn't want to forget about it because, you know, you, you, you plan a video or anything like that. And then it'd be months down the road. Oh, I was supposed to do this video. So thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the video. See you later.